Hello, thanks for joining me. My name is Krista and I'm the owner with Wasatch Travel. I'm happy to have you on today as we're gonna be talking about an awesome choice for Alaska all-inclusive fishing lodge. So um, stay with me and we'll bring my friend on in a minute and let you know what he has to offer. Um, first off, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm the owner of Wasatch Travel in Heber City, and we book vacations normally for people all around Utah. And a funny thing about me, I'm gonna show you a picture here, is that years ago, right out of high school, I went and worked up in Alaska, and I actually worked in a fish processing plant. So, you know, when you're young and you're ready for an adventure, sometimes you'll do anything. Well, this was one of those <laughs> opportunities that, I, yeah, it was kind of disgusting and gross, but overall it was a great adventure. I am the one in, that's with my mouth open in the back. And then I went with my brother who's sitting down in front of me and my cousin. And then my brother ended up dating my roommate and they both went back to Utah State after the summer and dated and they got married the following summer. So that was kind of a crazy story about Alaska that I had. Um, so I'm gonna bring my friend on. This is Daryl. Let's see if I can get this right. Bouchard, is that right? You did great. Thanks for awesome. having me on. You bet. So um, Daryl and I have known each other for a few years. Our kids are friends. And before we get started, I'm going to tell you another story that I've never told you, Daryl. So this is kind of funny. But um, years ago when we lived in Colorado, it, after the 2008 recession, it really hit us pretty hard. And Daryl is the owner of Redmond Salt. Um, and some of their they do this cool thing around Christmas time where they give their um, employees some money and they say, do some good in the community or give it to someone that needs it. And we were, we were struggling for a little while there. And one of your employees gave us the money and that really helped with our Christmas. So I don't think I've ever told you that, but I always appreciate that about your company that you're so generous. Um, no. th thank you for sharing that story. I, I need a, one point of clarification. It's not my company. Uh, my family started it, but we're actually, we, we sold it back in 2000. So, oh, uh, I didn't even know that. Are, a lot of us are still involved, but it's not, and it's still privately owned small ownership here in the, in uh, the Heber Valley, but it's not, it's not just my family that's involved. Okay. Awesome. Well, good to know that. Thank you. Um, that program though, it's, we call it pay it forward. And it's something that I think, you know, it's kind of inspired by that movie, uh, pay it forward, or is that the name of the movie? Um, by the little boy who created this program to pay it forward. And anyway, yeah, we, uh, we have thought that was a pretty neat idea. And so um, that's neat that your family was impacted by that. In yeah, the it really, it made, it made a huge difference for us. And so I just wanted to share that because I know you guys have always been so generous. Well, that's very kind. So Daryl is um, a new owner of an all-inclusive Alaska fishing lodge. I'm going to bring a picture up here of it. Why don't you uh, first start and tell us what um, what it is? Well, this is a beautiful, all-inclusive remote fishing lodge in Alaska, and it's a new sister company that we're involved with. And we have taken uh, employees and spouses and partners up to this lodge for many years, and it's just a beautiful setting and a great place to build relationships with teams whether you're in traveling, you know, with a company setting for, you know, sales, reward travel, or you're just looking at a place to go with, you know, family and friends, you know, it's, it's one of these locations that's so far off the beaten path that in the evenings you can't wander off and, you know, go do something on your own. So it really allows these neat connections to take place, which is what travel is really about. You know, sometimes, and I'm guilty as ever, we travel, but we travel with our phones in hand and we forget to look up occasionally at the beautiful scenery. And one of the beauties of Alaska is it really allows you to, to see that you're, that, that we are a lot smaller part of the world than sometimes we think we are. Um, so it's a beautiful location, super remote, and uh, really brings, you know, the beauty of creation um, into view. 
That's awesome. So look at these crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. That thing is enormous. It's pretty much a monster. <laughs> yeah. You know, so one of the beauties in Alaska, sometimes people think that, you know, fishing in Alaska has to be this, you know, man camp, guys, guys type of a trip. And years ago, this lodge was designed that way. However, this year we have all new cabins. We've re, um, we've renovated everything. And, and so now you can come up and if you want to fish and your spouse doesn't, boy, that's just great. We've got beautiful accommodations and we can do a lot more than just fish, even though historically it's been, you know, primarily a fishing lodge. Now we can, you know, go whale watching, go see waterfalls, go see nature at its finest and just hang out in a beautiful setting, whether you like to fish or not. So it's not one of those trips where you just have to, you know, send the fishermen off by themselves to this remote lodge, you know, it can be a family affair and, you know, those that want to fish great. And if you want to just go for it, a beautiful boat ride and see some amazing scenery and see just how big this world really is, then that's, that's fine too. Awesome. So yeah, that's what I think that a lot of people picture is that it's just kind of a guy's hang out and get away from the women, but you're, you're finding that more often that you're now getting couples and families to come there? Yeah, we really have. You know, there's some fishing lodges up in Alaska that will charge, you know, eleven or $12,000 for a four or five day experience. And, you know, we're a fraction of that and the whole family can come. Um, and so it's really a unique experience that's more than just a you know, guy's guy or uh, just a, you know, man camp type experience. Um, we're an all-inclusive lodge, so we pick you up in a seaplane in Juneau. We fly you about 45 minutes south into the middle of nowhere on the inside passage. The reason that's important is if you were to go to Sitka or some other place in Alaska and you're out on the Pacific, those waves can get pretty rough on, on days. And because we're on the inside passage, you know, this is where the cruise ships go because it's just so nice and smooth and the water is just amazing um, and the fishing is even better. Um, you know, I can see you throwing up some other pictures of, of the wildlife that's up there because, and again, if you don't want to just fish every day, that's fine. We can take you out and see some absolutely amazing uh, nature while you're out there. Pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So how remote is this? This is really remote. So we're at the, the very bottom of a national monument and there's nothing else for miles. In fact, there's more brown bears on this island than there are people. <laughs> there's a oh, little wow. town that's several hours away by boat. Um, there's 400 people that live in that little town on the island and there's over 1,600 bears on the same island. So one of the questions we get is, hey, can we come to the island and do a lot of backpacking and exploring on our own? Unfortunately, the answer is no, because there's just, the, the terrain is so rough for one, and two, there's just uh, so many bears that we don't want you to do that. However, in the summertime, we've got, you know, 18 to 20 hours of sunlight. And so after the guides take you out and fish all day, the guides will bring you back. They fillet your fish. We freeze pack it so it's ready to take home with you. And then we have kayaks and skiffs that you can take out on your own and then go fish for another eight hours or just go kayak up the edges of the cove and look for wildlife. And oftentimes, you know, you can see amazing bears in the river. Um, you, I, I sent you a video earlier. I wasn't sure if that video would be able to, to play or not, but it's this amazing picture of a bear fishing for salmon. Um, not too far from the lodge. And then we also have crab pods and, and shrimp so, pods that we can throw out. Let me, let me just see if I can try to get that to work here. That video. Well, here we go. While you're pulling that up, if it, uh, if it doesn't work, the, the picture you're showing right now is of a seafood fry that we have up there. And we have a chef on site. Oh. Looks like you Sorry. might have that video. Wait, yeah, I'm going to get that in just a second. So talk about this one here. Yeah, so that's just a, a shrimp and seafood fry. Uh, we have crab pods and shrimp pods that we'll take out and let our guests um, bring back. And anything that you catch while you're up there, we can serve it to you for dinner that night. So we have a gourmet chef on site and can cook up some amazing dishes. And, um, yeah, so the, the food is incredible. It's all-inclusive. 
Um, you can eat as much as your heart desires. And uh, if you don't like the seafood, that's great. We have a lot of other options as well. Um, and the, the uh, carrot cake is, is absolutely phenomenal. So if nothing else, you've got to try our carrot cake when you come up. Awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get this one to show the video of the bear. Is that what, is that what we're looking at here? Yeah, so this is a river that's just right, not too far from the lodge. And this bear is fishing. And so you'll see him right here. He picks out a nice fish. And you don't have to be quite as agile as the bear, but uh, there's some amazing fishing for everybody. Oh. I love when the bear turns here and you can see just how big this fish actually is. So when we were in Alaska to see a bear, they told us to go to the dump. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, the, you don't have to go to the dump here. You can just go to the river and, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, see that's, it. Yeah, so. it is funny. But we did have a bear uh, wander into the fish processing plant one time. So he, he, got, a, he got all the fish he wanted it that day. <laughs> yeah, these, these bears are pretty smart. And uh, if you are ever fishing and a, and a bear happens to grab the fish on your line, you just break your line and let the fish enjoy it or let the bear enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Let's see. Let's talk about the location a little bit again. Yeah, so the location is about 45 or 50 minutes south of Juneau. So from Salt Lake, the flights to Juneau are around three to 500. So you fly into Juneau and I'm sure you can arrange that or help arrange that for your, for your clients. Um, and then we have you stay the first night, we have you stay right there in Juneau at a hotel. And the next morning, about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, we'll pick you up in a seaplane and fly you 45 minutes or so south of Juneau to this really remote spot. We land right on the water. We pull you up to our dock, uh, get you off the, the, the airplane, get your bags loaded into the lodge for the four or five days, or however long you're there with us. And then we turn you right back around and send you out with our guides. And so a typical day with with us looks like you get up in the morning, you have a great breakfast, we send you out on the boat with the guide. And that guide is, it's totally up to you what you do with your guide that day. So if you wanna fish all day, great. The guide will take you out and fish for halibut and lean cod and, and rockfish and salmon. And then, or you can tell your guide, hey, I'd like to fish for a while, but if we see some whales, I'd like to go watch the whales. And so we actually have a hydrophone which is a microphone underwater. And so when we're out whale watching, we can actually drop this hydrophone down into the water and you can hear the whales talk, which is, it just takes whale watching to a whole new level. You know, sometimes people will spend good money and they'll try to go whale watching in some locations. And, and it's just, you know, it's a little bit hard to, to see whales. However, I'm not sure there's been a time we haven't had a group up that hasn't seen a whale at some part of their experience. I'm sure it's happened, um, but the whales are, are very, very prominent and, and fun to watch and even more fun to listen to. And so that's the, the schedule. So you have lunch with your, with, with your guide while you're out either whale watching, looking at waterfalls or, or glaciers. You know, if you wanna put a chunk of glacier in your drink and drink some fresh glacier water with an ice cube that's actually from a glacier or an iceberg, um, we're happy to, to knock that item off your bucket list as well. And awesome. then, so you can do that for four days and, you know, we just really customize it to whatever you and your group would like to do. Oh yeah, there's a that picture right there. Um, so whatever your group wants to do, we accommodate that with our guides. And then after about eight or nine hours, the guides will bring you back. So it gives them a chance to clean the fish. Um, and then if you're, you know, a diehard and you want to go out and fish some more, um, that's great. You can take the gear and we have some skiffs, some smaller motorized boats um, and kayaks you can take out or you can just hang out at the lodge, play pool, play some games, watch a movie. We have TVs in all the rooms and a thermostat controlled fireplace in all the rooms. So, you know, very nice accommodations. Um, and then you get so to it's go not, get it's not much like it's not like a summer camp where it's pretty rustic. You actually have nice facilities with things to do in the evening. You yeah. don't have to worry about that. You know, I, I worked for the Boy Scouts for years and uh, you know, this is very far from a summer camp. <laughs> um, this is more along the lines of glamping where, you know, yes, you were out in the remote wilderness, but you've got, you know, very 
very nice accommodations, beautiful rooms, beautiful views, um, puzzles, movies, games, or just 20 hours of fishing if that's what you would like to do. And we're happy to happy to help you with that. So one thing that, that is also included is, is the, the filleting and the freezing of the fish. And so a lot of our guests will go home with a, a 50 pound box worth of fish. And so, you know, if you fish every day, all day for 22 hours, you'll have a lot more than 50 pounds. But what we'll tell guests to do is to pack fairly light. Uh, we supply boots and bibs and jackets. And so you don't need to bring a lot of heavy you know, winter gear with you. You can pack pretty light, actually. And what that allows you to do is a lot of airlines will give you a free checked bag. And then you can take your box of fish that will prep for you. And it's less than 50 pounds and it meets the dimensions of requirements for the airline. And so then you can just check your bag of fish. or It's actually a box of fish to go home with you. And when we send you back to Juno, you've got 36 hours to get that back in the freezer. So you can just check it on the plane with you. It arrives back at Salt Lake or wherever your destination is. If you want to spend a few more days up in Alaska, you could also just mail it home, find a UPS or a FedEx location and, and mail it. But most of our guests, we find that they just check it on the airline. And so we've designed a box that, meet, that meets those requirements um, just perfectly. And then you get to go home with all your fish, except for the ones you eat. Like I said, we can, uh, the food's phenomenal. We have a special every night and then you can um, take the special off the menu or we have some standbys, it's kind of like on a cruise ship where you've got, you know, the standbys that are available every day, some shrimp linguine and some, you know, veggie wraps, you know, all kinds of food that's available daily. And then we have a special every day, which might be, um, you know, uh, you know, fish tacos, or it might be um, some beef medallions or, or whatever it is we have for the night. So what if they have food allergies? Can you work with that? Absolutely. So when you sign up, we'll send a link. Um, and then it, that link allows you to go in and gives us your home address. We have that in case we'll print that on your fish box. So if you're whatever reason your fish gets lost, it's got an address so they can get it back to you. It also is a spot where you can put your shoe size, your bib size, your jacket size, as well as any special food allergies. So even though fishing is a big part of what we do, we do have guests that come up that have either, you know, shellfish allergies or gluten intolerance or, you know, peanuts or whatever. And so our chef will prepare food to avoid any cross contamination because the last thing we want, because we're so remote, the last yes. thing we want is to have, um, some medical event on site. Of course, we're prepared for that. We have a plane that is always uh, there at our dock, you know, for those situations. And so we can fly people back if needed, but we certainly want to keep that to a minimum. Do you have cell phone service there? Oh, that's a great question. So yeah, we have all, because of the number of business travelers we have, we'll have groups of 20 or 30 from, from Camp Chef or um, Sportsman's Warehouse will have these big groups that come up. Um, and because of that, a lot of these are working groups. And so we have great uh, internet access on site. Um, so you can stay connected to, you know, posting your favorite fish picture on Facebook or, you know, working on some emails if that's what you have to do. The cell reception, if you have, if you have um, AT&T or Sprint, you actually have pretty good service. If you have Verizon, like I do, it's a little more spotty. And so if okay. you need, you know, cell service and all you have is Verizon, it might not be a bad idea to borrow a phone or to have a short term um, phone that will work off the AT&T towers. Because although my experience here in Utah, Verizon is a great carrier um, at this particular spot in Alaska. Uh, Verizon's not so consistent. Well, at least I would be covered by what you mentioned. <laughs> I, yeah. As much as I love to be unplugged, I do have to work all the time when I'm traveling. Yep. That is my job. So uh, good to know that there is self service that that would work for me. And there's there's enough you know providers now that you can use data to get your cell phone service through or data to use videos. You know you can stay connected you know fairly well even if you know you don't get the signal in Verizon. Great. And I just wanted to say for our viewers, if anyone has a comment or a question, go ahead and and uh, ask that by typing that in and I'll go ahead and we'll try to address those. So I think we're at the point where probably a lot of people are intrigued. So what's it gonna take? They're probably wanting to know maybe the prices 
Do you have a special offer? Yeah, we do. I was actually just looking at some of the comments and I see Krista Baker on there. That's an old neighbor. Um, oh, wow. So it says, Corey Baker, you would love this. And I would absolutely agree. So, uh, Corey, you and Krista, you ought to talk um, to Krista here and, and uh, she can certainly take certainly take care of you. So Yeah, our names are spelled. We have the same thing in common. Our names are spelled correctly, the <laughs> same way. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get down to pricing. So a um, couple of things. First off, um, you know, we have offered, you know, Krista $100 to give away a couple of gift cards for her listeners. So um, I'm sure she will go over the details of that, but that's an offer just for, you know, for her to, to share with, with you as for, for being involved in this uh, presentation here today. The second thing is when it comes to the pricing in Alaska, you know, I mentioned before that some of these remote fishing lodges, you know, they'll charge $10,000, $11,000. Um, and we're less than half of that. And so our price for this all-inclusive package, which is a four-day, four-night, including your seaplane flight um, from Juneau, is 4500 per person. Now, that doesn't include your fishing license in Alaska. Alaska fishing license is $70 per person for a seven-day fishing license. And then you'll need a $30 stamp for the king salmon if you want to take some king salmon while you're up there. And so there is that that would be an additional. We could actually arrange that or Krista could arrange it. The reason that we typically don't do that is just like in a Utah fishing license, it re asks for a lot of questions, you know, eye color and years of residency and just a lot of stuff that um, a lot of our guests would just rather take care of on their own. So it's 4500 okay. all inclusive once you get up to Juneau. And as part of this presentation, I've also told Krista that we'll give um, Wasatch Travel an additional $500 off per person um, to book as part of this event if you book with Krista. And so that's a pretty special um, offer. If you're coming up with, you know, just two of you, you know, a couple coming up for an anniversary trip, or maybe it's a group of guys for a bachelor party or even a class reunion party, you get four or five people and, and now you're talking, you know, couple of thousand dollars in savings and so yeah, that you know, is, Krista, that's very great we sure appreciate that you're very welcome we're glad to partner with wasatch travel and um yeah happy to offer that all right so i'm going to tell you now about how to enter the giveaway here um let's see sorry having a technical <laughs> issue but let me hide this here um so if you go to wasatchtravel.com, towards the bottom, there's a giveaway. So we're actually doing two giveaways right now. If you enter the one that says Maui giveaway, then you're entered into our yearly giveaway that we give away um, the end of the year, and that's three nights in Maui. And for oh, those, wow. yes, and for those that enter um, between now and Friday, let's see, yeah, Friday. No, let's just go for a week. So between now and the next week, if you go ahead and enter, even if you entered previously, please leave a comment on the entry form that says entering for Alaska. And if you've already entered in the past, just say already entered. And that puts you on our mailing list. And once you're on the mailing list, um, then you're entered in for Maui, but you need to Put the special comment that says entering for Alaska to be entered in this giveaway for the $100 gift card. So that is how that works. Um, if anyone has any other questions or comments, please let me know. Otherwise, we'll go back through a few pictures while um, I'll show some pictures. And if you have anything else you want to add, Daryl, that would be great. Perfect. Yeah, so th this is a yellow eye. This is a really fun fish to catch. It comes from super deep. Um, you only can actually catch one of these a season. And so that's a really a, a fun fish to catch, a fun fish to bring home. The The picture, the other picture there is a picture of our of our seafood fry one night. Um, you know, these are, you know, beautiful shrimp. These are amazing shrimp. Um, one of the things that our guests love, sometimes when you catch a fish, if it's the wrong um if you've already caught one or the wrong size, you'll you know throw it back like you do when you're fishing. And the eagles will watch for it. And so sometimes you'll see eagles just a few feet away dive bomb the boat to pick up the fish that you just threw back. Um, they know that uh, if they keep an eye on, on us and our boats, that it's usually good for a lunch meal here and there. So 
Um, the Eagles are just amazing to watch. The uh, other thing that's kind of fun is, um, you know, going through and finding icebergs to go and, and chunk or, you know, chip off a chunk of iceberg to put that in your drink for the day or just to lick it. It's kind of fun. And a lot of our guests go home with a lot of fish. Now, again, you don't have to love the fish to come up, but uh, 50 pounds of fish, which fit in a box really nicely, when you think about how much fish you might eat as a family, 50 pounds of fish will last you quite a while. And so uh, the the typical fish, we, and the question we get asked is how big are these halibut that I'll usually catch? These are pretty small ones in the picture right here. Uh, that's the back row fish. But we'll catch pretty typically 30 to 40 pound halibut. That's a lean cod right there. Good eating, but the ugliest fish you might ever Ugly. get. <laughs> Very <laughs> ugly. <laughs> um, so we'll, uh, you know, a lot of people will catch 30 to 40 pound halibut, no problem. Um, we will add about 100 fish per year to our big fish board. Um, that big fish board is fish that are over 100 pounds. And so we'll add, you know, between you know, 60 and 100 fish to that big fish board of fish that are over 100 pounds every year. And this is a, a good shot of just what it looks like to fish in the bay. You can see how calm the water is. And a lot of deep sea fishing trips, people have in mind these really big boats with hundreds of people smashed onto the same little boat. That's not how we like to do it. We'll put four people or six people on a boat with your guide. And so there's lots of room, lots of cheering each other on, but you're not shoulder to shoulder, you know, trying to fight each other. Um, and the other thing, if you look at some of the boats up in Alaska, you know, they look a little rickety. Um, we've invested over a million dollars this year in new boats. And so these aren't, you know, rinky dinky or old scary boats to fish on. These are state of the art, super safe, top of the line, deep sea fishing boats. And so a really unique experience. And we would love to have anybody that works with Wasatch Travel to come on and spend a little time with us. That's awesome. Well, we sure appreciate you coming on today and sharing your all-inclusive luxury um, option. It was great being on, on your program and look forward to working with some of your clients. And hopefully, you know, we can save some people some money in the process by going uh, by going through Wasatch Travel. Hey, look, my husband wants to go. I better, <laughs> I should have hid this from him. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to go up oh, there. Yeah, we got to get him, we got to get him up there. We'd love to. Well, thank you again, and um, give me a call. If you guys want any more detail, you can call us at 435-709-8656 or send me an email at krista at wasatchtravel.com. Hey, Krista, one more thing before we go. Yeah. The lodge is um, open between the mid to end of May and to the middle of September. And so this isn't a year-round event. Um, you know, to fish up there, you don't want to be fishing in January in Alaska. It kind of changes the dynamic a lot. So um, if you want to come this year, great. Um, and actually, a lot of our guests prefer to book about a year out. And so we're already filling up the spots for 2020. Um, and so that's something we can do, too. And if you even if you don't come until 2020, if you book with Krista now in the next couple of weeks during this promotion, we'll still honor that price for next year and lock you in during those prime times. One more question that I had on that. Are we able to do payment plans that way? Can you do a deposit down and final payment later or how does that work? Yeah, absolutely. We like 10% down um, and then we like about 40% uh, by by December 31st. So that puts you 50% this year and then the balance by April. And so okay. it's easy to you know pay that off as quickly as you'd like. One final uh, thing I forgot to mention, we do have a lot of guests that have the Northern Lights on their bucket list. They just want to see the Northern Lights. Um, amazing thing to see. It's really hard to see that in June because we've got about 20 to, well, 18 to 20 hours of sunlight. And when I say sunlight, that doesn't mean darkness and so even though the sun goes down it doesn't get super dark and so if you want to see the northern lights as part of your alaskan fishing experience then really the the first to second week in september those last couple of trips during the year are the better time to book um, the the weather starts to get a little bit more rainy in the fall and so you're trading off a little bit you know better fishing and, and longer days to see the northern lights at the end of the season but we can certainly do that and you can certainly see the Northern Lights 
just not in June and July. That's great. Well, thank you so much. It just sounds amazing. Now I want to go fishing, but I also want to see the Northern Lights. It's like, it doesn't sound like there's a bad time to go. There really isn't. And it's the, the thing that we've really tried to focus on as, as we've been building out this lodge is making it for families and making it for groups that don't want to fish every day, 24 hours a day. We're, we're happy to accommodate those, um, but we've really designed the program and we've brought on our, our fishing guides and tour guides and boat captains in such a way to really make it a great experience and design the experience that you want. And so like my wife, she loves to fish, but not for, you know, 20 hours a day. Um, and as much as I like to fish, I'm, I get kind of bored after, you know, 12 hours of a day. And, um, but I can fish for a few hours and then I can go see, you know, amazing views and waterfalls. And, and so it's, it's really a lot different than the traditional, experience of fishing in Alaska that used to be this man camp um, diehard fisherman where we're designing an experience where everybody can experience Alaska. Yes, you can fish. Yes, you can see whales and you can do it all at the same time with people you love. Well, you just said the word waterfalls. So you're talking my language now. <laughs> awesome. So the okay. waterfalls are best earlier in the year uh, just because of the runoff. But yeah, there's some amazing waterfalls. That's great. Show. Do you go hiking or what do you do to get um, there? So a lot of the waterfalls you can just see from the boat. Um, there's one waterfall we'll hike up to because of the bear population. We'll hike with some shotguns. Just We've never had to shoot a bear, but just for safety, we'll hike with shotguns um, up to this amazing waterfall with this pool of water underneath. We've actually had a couple of weddings wow. and we knew all the bows there. Um, phenomenal waterfall. You won't find anything better. Um, but most of them you can see from the boats. And so there's, there's some of, some of everything. Well, it sounds amazing. Hopefully I can get there one of these days and check it out for everyone. <laughs> We'd love to have you. Thanks again. Right. Appreciate your well, Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks.